Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young if you're new here and thanks for watching. Today I'm really excited to show you all step by step how to paint this lilac branch. So stay tuned and let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Just going to show you guys the canvas I'm using today. I've got an 11 by 14 and I've got the following colors that I've chosen for this painting today. We've got a uh, blue teal or blue turquoise, bright aqua green turquoise. I've got some lemon cool neon yellow. Uh, light blue violet, uh, titanium white, or any white that you want to use. I've got some neon rose and neon violet. I'm going to take turquoise and I'm just going to start pulling that around and then I'm going to scoop up some rose and look at how pretty those colors look together <laughs> and the violet. So I'll just add that in there. And I'm just going to simply blend I'm going to pull down a little bit in here and then back and forth this will be our water I'm going to wash my brush out and take a little bit of white adding a little bit of white will give us some softer tones so a little bit of white like this Now before this can dry, I'm going to take one of my um, large blending brushes, mop brush here, it's dried, it's nice and soft, and I'm just going to kind of blend this out very lightly, little circles. We're looking for a blurry background, that's what we're after. So we don't want to blend too much, we don't want to lose those gorgeous colors that we have. We just want to make it look all blurry and dreamy like. Okay, and then I'm going to pull and sweep. Just below the halfway mark. And then I'm going to gently pull this way. So if it doesn't, if you don't see a few little blurry looking lines, just do it again. And adding a little bit of white is going to work as well. So I'm just going to go across like that. Light pulls. And we've got instant water. I'm going to take a little bit of a little bit more of my white and let's just go ahead and create some soft little circles back here. Alright, so I'm going to switch over to uh, one of my longer uh, filbert brushes. This is a number 12. You can use one a little bit smaller or even a little bit bigger if you want. And I'm just going to go right into my yellow. A little bit of black. Don't want it to turn too, too dark. You just want to create some deep, dark olive green colors in combination with the turquoise that we've got going on back there because that's going to give us, we're going to also have cool shadows on our foliage and leaves as well as warm. So it's nice to have a little bit of both. I just picked up a little bit of water because the paint is starting to dry a little bit, but I'm just going to do a little, little tap dance here. Nothing fancy, just a blurry background. We'll let the shape of the brush do the work for you. Picking up a little bit more water. See how pretty it looks layered over some of that turquoise. So that combination is really nice and important for creating different temperatures, warm and cool in a painting. I'm going to take just a little bit more black. Add a little bit of depth. What I like about using these brushes for 
uh, leaves is that, of course, it's got that rounded tip. So you can push, wiggle, let off, twist, and you'll have the shape of a leaf. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit in down below in the water for reflection. I'm going to pick up a little bit of, whoops, I guess I'm picking up both of those, and a little bit more of the yellow. And just little pulls, quick little brush strokes to make it look like reflective ripples down below in the water. A little bit of white. These colors just ooze spring vibes to me, and I love spring because it represents new beginnings, and <laughs> we all want an. A uh, fresh start, don't we? We've all been through quite a bit over uh, the last few years. There's lots going on around the world right now. Um, and just want to send out good vibes, healing, and positivity to everybody out there. Whatever you're going through, you're not alone. Okay, so what I want to do now is just very gently pick a few areas here. You can even go from the bottom up as well, just to add a little bit of ripples there. I'm going to work my way over here and add a little bit as well. Not too, too much over here, but a little bit of white in here. Okay, and then I'm going to get my brush wet, not wash it off. I'm just going to go right into my black and I'm going to come from the right side here, kind of scoop down a little bit, go up, over, and we'll have just a graceful looking, delicate branch here. Make it a little bit thicker here. And then I'll have a few more branches coming down. One that curves right down here. Let's get a little bit more, maybe a little bit more paint. And then we can mimic in the water. So I'm looking at sideways, it kind of goes like that. But remember, it's, you don't want to try and make it the same exactly. Just a suggestion. It's just ripples and reflections in the water. So add a little bit of what's going, what you see up here. and then blur it out. So what I'm gonna do is choose a really small filbert brush that's gonna help me achieve the petals easily. And I've got this tiny little one here. It's a size zero or a number zero. So I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet to start. And what I want to do is take a mixture of my violet, the rose, and just create like some dark, beautiful violet color. See how pretty that is? So we're going to start off with a darkish color like this. And I'll show you step by step how we're going to build the flowers up to look like lilac flowers. So we will have some buds. And I'm just going to add a bud right now. And it's kind of just, you know, the shape of... Uh, this little brush here it's a little oval like that okay so a few of them will be like that and then you're just going to gently pull out a little stem from each of those so let's just go over these buds first and then we'll get into 
of the opened up full bloomed flowers. I kind of like to do it while it's still wet like this. You're gonna need to switch over to a little liner brush. Okay, this one is also a size or number zero. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet and I'm gonna take a little bit of white. So we're just gonna go scoop over one petal that's tight together and another one. So you're gonna leave a dark line in between. And you can also paint this reversely. You could do uh, the light shade first if you want it. I'm gonna add a little just cause I'm gonna maybe see the other side. This one here on this side. And then this one right here. So you could paint yours the light color first, a light lavender, light rose. There's lots of different uh, shades of uh, lilacs out there. So I'll even just take a little bit of my rose in here and mix it with some white and we'll make it more of a lilac -y color. I don't like to make my flowers always this, all the same color. I think it's nice to uh, add a few other colors in there. So you could choose to paint your buds all light first and then come in with uh, this dark uh, color for to separate those lines. And take a little bit of my warm violet. Okay, so there are a few buds. Just a little bit of water and just soften this. We may come back to those a little bit later if we need to add some more uh, shadows, highlights, or details. But I'm going to go ahead and take my little filbert brush again, the dark color, a little bit of white in there. And I'm going to start there. Now the lilac flowers have four petals. So you just kind of gently push, move over. We're going to layer. So this is just how I do it, but they're, you know, just develop your own way if you don't feel comfortable painting yours like mine or like how I'm doing mine. We're going to go right into the center with that dark color. Okay, so the next step, take a little bit of white. You can tint your white. I've already got enough paint in my brush that it's going to tint. And the inside of the flower, without going over the center, we're just going to go gently inside. You can use the same brush or a smaller one. And just use a little bit less pressure to make it smaller. Now, the next step is outlining. The petals. Now you can again tint your white any color. Well, any of the colors that we've got here, or any colors that you're choosing. I like to kind of gently push and fan, flatten my filbert brush for this because it makes it a lot easier. You can wait for your 
paint your petals to dry or you can just approach it a little wet on wet like this. It's all uh, yeah, on how much pressure you use and how much paint you're using um, that will allow you to do that. You guys know I, I do enjoy painting wet on wet because I, I pick up and mix up more colors and paint along the way and it ends up looking uh, more like I took um, hours and hours on a painting and it gives it kind of that oil paint look a little bit more uh, blended. Okay, so I'm going to take these colors again, a little bit of white in there. And I'm not out to create the exact same color for every flower. Some of them I want to have a little bit more of the pinky purples here, sometimes a little bit more blue. And of course, we're making it a bluey color here. I've also got this one over here. I don't want to forget about that. So I'm going to be picking up some of that in a minute too. But I'm just going to continue along here. And I'm going to get a little bit quicker because I don't want my paint to dry out. But we're going to sometimes layer and add the four petals dark first. It's important to leave the center of the flower dark. Because we're going to be adding little touches of uh, yellow in there. It's like four little dots of yellow. Okay, and you can just really lose yourself in this painting. And I did another version um, yesterday. Um, and it was it's just with music in it and that will be available uh, for YouTube. But I know that you guys uh, appreciate these longer tutorials and you guys enjoy hearing me and <laughs> thanks for that. Um, it's nice to, to know that you guys aren't, you know, muting me and want to hear me talk and explain things. So thanks for that. And thank you for all of your support. You guys are amazing. And, and I love you guys for uh, supporting me and allowing me to do what I love to do. So before I get emotional, <laughs> teary eyed about it, I've just been feeling emotional lately. But um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that you, this is only for you. And thank you. So no matter what order you do this, and you can come in later with your uh, white inside, you can apply uh, the white around. You can outline your petals. doesn't matter. As long as you end up with um, the finished product is going to look the same, right? So you can just come in right after. Oh, I love painting lilacs, and I absolutely love lilacs. I love the smell of them. I remember being fascinated by them. As a little girl, I would have the odd sleepover at my grandparents' house, and my grandma and granddad had a big wall of uh, lilac, and I just would sit there and smell them and study them, and, you know, even as a child... I loved the colors, and uh, I guess that was the first clue of me being an artist. I don't know how many kids uh, love staring at <laughs> flowers and well, just anything really colorful. I always had a love of color. Okay, so I'm just going to continue around, and you can see already that some of these have a little bit more uh, purple to them. I'm not worrying about making them all the same color. Just try to stay away from that happening. You really don't want that to happen. And if you see it happening, change it up and go scoop up some of your little bit more of the violet. So I think I'll have another bud right here. Make it a little bit more this color. And oh, maybe I'll have another one right about here. And of course, if you guys want to, um, I encourage you to watch the other demonstration video 
of this painting I did, but it's it's different, right? It's the same idea, but it's pretty impossible to for me to try and uh, paint the same flower, same color, and uh, the same exact layout. But I think you would enjoy that. It's pretty relaxing to watch. I found myself, and I normally don't watch my own videos, but um, some of the songs, well, I like all the songs, um, orchestra, classical music, um, along with watching me paint to it is uh, relaxing and no there there isn't any talking in it like this one but uh, it's still enjoyable to watch and you might get some more ideas because it's not the same as this one so you could take um, ideas from an inspiration from that video and combine it with um, this one so there's lots to learn in both okay I'm just gonna do that little line there skinny little line that's part of the the flower one side i'm going to make a little bit darker so i could take a little bit of my teal there and i'll come in here with my white and add three lines like this so they get really narrow when they go to the top okay i don't want to forget about this gorgeous um, blue here so i'm gonna bring it over here <laughs> and i'll take a little scoop of each of those and i'm gonna start uh, painting a little bit quicker now And you'll see that you really don't have to uh, spend too much time on each flower. I did to uh, show you guys the breakdown and the steps. Try to make them different sizes as well. And remember to not be afraid of layering. It's really important. When your brush is starting to get really saturated, it starts to like build up. The paint will build up up here and that's going to wreck your brush. So even though you're, you know, you're getting caught up in painting and you're really enjoying it, um, try to wash your brush out every once in a while. Wiggle, wiggle, pull and let off. Then come around and outline. Now if you guys have any requests uh, for flowers? Maybe there's something I haven't thought of yet. I can't guarantee, I can't make any promises. Um, just leave it in the comments below. And you never know, I may choose yours. I'm gonna add some reflections down in the water as well. Yeah, so I'm going to take these colors that I've been using for the flowers and so right here I want it to look like it's just touching the water so I'm going to just pull leave little lines in between of the other colors okay I'm going to lower my brush up again a little bit of white What I want you guys to do is be looser. So just if you feel yourself kind of tense, just take a minute to roll your shoulders, relax, take a breath, 
and really apply less pressure on the brush and just swirl and it seems like you're being carefree and messy but that's what's going to give you the pretty dream look that really artistic look so it's a combination of both having a few things detailed more in detail by no means am i a photographic uh type of or realist type of painter um it's not my style i don't want to be like that i like exaggerating things so something like this is really pretty because we have both a bit of a messy look and a bit of a tighter neater look so I want you guys to keep that in mind. So when you're applying the the water areas and the background, you can just let loose, have fun, and enjoy that part of the process, okay? So I'm going to wash my brush out, and I'm going to continue along here adding more and more flowers. Different sizes. I don't want to get caught up in painting all the same size. Um, so I've got to change that up a little bit, add a few smaller ones here. I'm gonna get a little quicker here. I'll have another bud. I've got a lot of paint here, so I think I'm going to be, um, right after I finish this, I'm going to add another tutorial. I'm going to use this paint. I've got something in mind. Uh, weeping wisteria over a pond. I think that would be pretty pond that's kind of looking hazy like this. So I'm going to layer a lot right here. So I'm not concerned about making everything, um, all the individual flowers have four petals on them because I want it to look kind of blurry and layered like. And I'm just gonna take my brush, the lighter colors here, a little bit more of the white. And I'm just gonna very gently Kind of scrub gently with my brush and stumble out. So we've got the really blurry background. Then we've got a little bit of this that's a little bit rougher looking. And then we've got our flower petals. Okay, so I'm going to continue along coming down here and don't forget I am going to be adding the little uh, centers of the flowers after. have a little bud there line this one a little bit even though it's a really 
light color already. Okay, so let's move over here. I'm gonna add a few more buds. Make it a little bit darker. In the centers of my flowers a little darker if I had forgotten and some of them I have forgotten pick up a little bit of white scoop I like to do three is kind of a safe number for these lines on our uh, buds here I'm going to have to go back and adjust that one because I kind of lost it. Okay, so I'll just come in here. There we go. And fold line. here in the background. Let's just take all those colors. And I'll have some buds down here, maybe some smaller ones. Yeah, same thing as over here. First with the dark and then I'm going to pick up some of that blue violet as well and let that just blend out. Let's take a little more. Take a little bit more of the blue. Don't forget to go down a little bit here and there. Also want to take some turquoise and the blue teal. Come down here and add some of that over top and then a little bit of the blue violet. So as you start to get a little bit quicker with painting these, you'll start to develop um, easier, quicker ways of painting them. So I'm kind of just here pushing that paint off a little bit. If you have a lot loaded up on your brush, you can do that.
Add a little one right there. And then make it stand out a little bit more by taking the white and outlining each petal. some darker ones over here I think got that really light background so this is a good opportunity to make these ones have a little bit more depth Take a little bit of blue. A little bit of white. a few more reflections down here. Then with a white inside. You can see how when the paint starts to dry, it gets a lot darker. I want you guys to watch when I'm placing my pinky here and I'm twisting my brush around. That's just using the tip of it. That's going to give me skinnier lines. So to, the trick is to really you know, work that paint out, kind of flatten your brush, kind of wiggle and get it on the end there. But then if I try to do it again right after without loading, it gets thicker. So you really, if you want to a cleaner line, take your time to load it up each time. And we'll add some reflections. A 
few more buds. Don't forget about making some of those messy ones. Just a little turn. With your brush like that, and you'll get some interesting looking kind of mid-tone, because we've got the background, blurry lilacs back there, and then we've got ones that are more detailed. Right? And then you've got those ones that are just kind of like this. So you've got to have that layered look. Okay, I'll come in with some white now. I'm going to use a little liner brush again, the zero. And all you want to do is take just a little bit of white and a little bit of that yellow. And we're just going to add one, two, three, four. Four little dots close together. Make sure you've got it loaded up each time. One, two, three, four. Forgot to make the cent that center dark, but it doesn't matter. They can all be a little bit different. Some of them we're not going to see all the little dots. You want to make sure that you change it up. Sometimes you can just add maybe one dot. They're a little bit blurrier or facing a different angle, right? Just gonna add a little highlight here. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did, and I hope you guys uh, get inspired by this and paint along, so uh, be sure to leave a comment below and any of your favorite flower suggestions. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye!